Hi, my name is Rachel Ostro. I'm this week's studio visit artist for I Like Your Work. I'm located in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm primarily a painter. But I also do quite a lot of printmaking, and I'm interested in movement and all sorts of other types of art forms. I make sculpture for Halloween every year. I make costumes, but I'm primarily a painter. And if you asked me what I was most interested in my artwork doing on a very, very base level, it's just inspiring the imagination of the viewer. And not purely this looks like this or this thinks like this. It's almost like on a deeper visual level, the imagination spatially, visually, the way that we perceive things in a way that's not a, not a totally straightforward way of perceiving things. I want your brain to just visually start to imagine what it is. I want the viewer to look at the painting and, and dive into one space and have it remind them of something and then come back out. And because, because the space doesn't always make perfect sense in my painting, the space of my painting you know, sometimes makes you feel like it's flat, sometimes it feels like it's far away, sometimes it feels like a ribbon, sometimes, you know, it feels like a lot of different surfaces. I want, I want the viewer to experience that moment when, when you look at something and you're not exactly certain what it is or what it's trying to be, but, but your brain is visually trying to think about it. I always think that I'm collaborating with nature, and I like to think about that in terms of my work, like that my work is a perfect balance between intention and chance, in the sense that like I'm pushing, I'm moving things and like making these forms, but what's actually happening is the paint is mixing with itself in a way due to its natural characteristics, due to the way the paint mixes or different colors mix. And in those tiny interactions, are are naturally happen and I'm kind of just like doing the big stroke or I'm coaxing them around but but then the two things are playing together so I'm playing with the natural reactions and then at some point it congeals into looking like something and that thing that it ends up looking like resembles nature but it also resembles the movement and the drawing that I have myself made so it's like like control versus not control, but it's also order versus chaos. It's me trying to make something while still highlighting the things that are going to naturally be happening because of the way things interact.